Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. In Top Stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. On Veterans Day, the Red Rock Canyon Scenic Loop remains closed as authorities investigate a shooting and hikers hoping to enjoy the holiday there are being turned around. I hope no one has been killed or seriously hurt. That's the first thing. The Highway Patrol says its troopers, along with Metro Police and Bureau of Land Management Rangers, responded to a report of a possibly armed driver. Upon arrival, the driver rammed into law enforcement vehicles with his truck and was shot. The subject was wounded and medical aid was rendered. The subject was transported by AMR to UMC Trauma in stable condition and is currently in custody of the Nevada State Police Highway Patrol Division. No officers were injured in the incident. Also happening today, the family of Tina Tintor and other loved ones are mourning the loss of the 23-year-old who, as many of you already know, was killed in the car crash involving ex-Raiders player Henry Ruggs. You can see Tintor's friends and relatives filing into the St. Simeon Serbian Orthodox Church, a total of about 100 in attendance. Then Tintor's white casket was carried into a white hearse. Uh, I wanted to donate, I wanted to send condolences and send flowers. Nothing seemed right. And then I remembered when I lost loved ones, the most important thing to me was people who showed up. And so I decided to show up. Raiders owner Mark Davis was also seen at the funeral. And Ruggs's lawyers are now alleging firefighters were slow to put out the blaze after that violent crash, which they say led to Tintor's death. His lawyers filed court papers saying a witness alleges Cruz did not attempt to put out the flames in Tintor's SUV for about 20 minutes. Meanwhile, prosecutors formally charged Ruggs with multiple counts of DUI and reckless driving. In weather, sponsored by One Hour Air, no matter the season, no matter the reason, one hour is here for you. Temps are already in the 60s, should stay in that range until tomorrow morning. On Friday, another sunny day with a high of 81 degrees and low of 54 degrees. Then a warm weekend with highs in the 80s and the sun sticking around. Starting Monday through Wednesday, we're seeing a cooling trend with highs dipping gradually lower in the 70s. By Thursday, it should go down to the 60s. In Entertainment, sponsored by DiscoverNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada. A look at Blake Shelton's upcoming club in Las Vegas. Review Journal's John Katsimidis has more. Blake Shelton says there's just not enough country music presence on the Las Vegas Strip, and he is fixing to do something about it. He's opening Old Red Las Vegas, a country music live performance venue and hang on the corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Flamingo Road. That's a Grand Bazaar shops on the doorstep of Bally's. Shelton says this is going to be a place for emerging artists who perform regularly, some residences, and also maybe some appearances by Shelton himself. In your lifestyle news, downtown Las Vegas hosts the annual Veterans Day Parade. Review Journal's Renee Semmerauer has more on the largest parade west of the Mississippi. Renee? Jen, last year's parade obviously was canceled because of COVID-19, but this year there were 120 entries, including floats, veterans groups, ROTC units, and of course, marching bands. The annual event is put on by the Veterans Action Group, in addition to organizing the parade, the group handed out tens of thousands of American flags for people to wave. Another major feature of this year's parade was a flyover for planes taking part, one of them peeling off and flying over Allegiant Stadium. Now, an interesting fact about the parade, it nearly got canceled back in 1994 because of lack of organization. That's when a small group of veterans stepped in with just 10 days to spare and organized the parade. And the event has been a fixture on the Southern Nevada calendar ever since. Jen?
Over in Summerlin on this Veterans Day, the Summerlin Council is just finishing up gathering donations for U.S. Vets Las Vegas, including food, cleaning supplies, gas cards, water and clothes. U.S. Vets Las Vegas operates two residential facilities with more than 300 beds for veterans. Sports, sponsored by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app and get a bonus up to $500 when you sign up. The UNLV Running Rebels are back. Wednesday night, UNLV pulled out a 64-58 victory over Gardner-Webb in the season opener at the Thomas & Mack Center, earning Kevin Kruger his first victory as head coach of the Rebels. The team did struggle from deep, going 2-for-25 from three-point range. Royce Ham finished with 18 points and 17 rebounds. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Golden State Warriors have the best record in the NBA at 10-1 and, and are 7-3-1 against the spread. The Warriors have supplanted the Los Angeles Lakers at the Westgate Superbook as the second choice to win the NBA title at 5-1. The Brooklyn Nets are the 3-1 favorites while the Lakers and the Utah Jazz are tied for the 8-1 third pick. Golden State guard Steph Curry is the plus 250 favorite to win the NBA MVP award with Kevin Durant and Giannis Antetokounmpo tied for the second choice at 5-1. In Health, sponsored by 4M Dental, love your smile again. Lifting the spirits of kids fighting cancer during this Thanksgiving season. Raiders players and the Raiderettes hosted a Friendsgiving for the Candlelighters Childhood Cancer Foundation's Teen Scene Group. The event featured food, games, and an exclusive tour of Allegiant Stadium. And it looks like there's been a delay in statewide data on the latest COVID metrics, which also affects county metrics. It's not clear if this delay is caused by technical issues or the Veterans Day holiday. Stay tuned for updates. In Business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. Nevada businesses will not face higher unemployment insurance taxes next year. Governor Steve Sisolak says the rate will stay at 1.65 percent, even though a panel had recommended raising it. And fans hoping to attend the 2022 NFL Pro Bowl at Allegiant Stadium can get their first crack today. Ticketmaster is now offering its pre-sale for the annual All-Star Game. Tickets officially go on sale to the general public on Tuesday. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you have a Roku device, just search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.